So more than likely you already know what a brand is, like what the definition of a brand is. I think that a lot of people get this completely mixed up and they don't fully understand what a brand is. Now, what most people think a brand is, is logos, colors, design elements, and all that good stuff. Let me be very clear, it's not just that. In fact, that only makes up 25% of what a brand actually is. So what percentage makes up a brand? Like what, what all is entailed with uh, what a brand includes? For me, it boils down to three simple components that make up 100% of a brand. 25% is the logo, the colors, the elements, and all that stuff. 25% is sales and marketing. So all the sales that happen and the marketing that's going on that creates the brand. And then 50% of a brand is the actual experience that your customers are having. So the execution of your product or service, that is what makes up the majority of a brand. And good branding is all of those things put together and combined. You look at the monsters that are out there with when it comes to a brand. So if you look at like a Nike or an Apple, like a lot of times a lot of people like to compare brands and look at those types of companies. And you look at that and you say, Hey, what makes up with it? Well, most of it, 50% of it, if you really think about it, is the experience that people have with the product, right? Like Apple is huge because the iPhone is the best phone out there on the market because the MacBook is the best laptop out there on the market. It's the experience of the product that people have that makes up the brand. And that's why people keep buying and buying and buying and buying no matter how many uh, renditions of the iPhone come out, people are always gonna buy the latest and greatest. And that's the po sole purpose. It's not because of the marketing that they're doing. It's not because of the logo that they have. It's because of the experience that they're executing on. So that is the important thing to understand what a brand is made up of because now you can use this inside of the, the logos and colors that you create and the, uh, the marketing, the sales that you're executing on is market the experience that people are having. So allow people to give you testimonials or do user generated content that talks about your product or service. And that's like, cause some of the best content that you could do is user generated content. Uh, you go look at like, let's go back to an Apple. If they announce a new iPhone, I mean, there's gonna be hundreds of videos out there on YouTube of people reviewing what the iPhone is gonna be. And you know, once they have it in their hands, uh, how does it feel? How does the performance and all that? And these are all, people that are using the iPhone, the actual product itself, and that is creating brand awareness and Apple's not even having to spend money on that. So how can you take that and build your brand through the experience that people are having with your product or service? Now obviously, you have to have a good product or service for them to have a good experience with it. Make sure you're capitalizing on that though. That's the important thing I wanna get across is taking the marketing that you're putting out and taking it from the experience that people are having with it. This is why people do testimonial videos or um, you know user videos so for instance if you have a platform and people are using your software or whatever and they're gonna do videos on it or content on it write reviews or whatever this is where all that stems from is that it's the experience that they're having and it, that is showing through with the marketing so think about that how can you actually take what I'm saying here what makes up a brand and execute on that because it's not just logo and colors guys I promise you I was in my past life I did branding and we did branding and designing the logos and the colors and all that stuff. And I can promise you the people that have the best brands are not the ones that have the best looks to their logos. Uh, it's the ones that give the best experiences with their products or their service. So take that for what it's worth, but stop focusing on trying to get colors and logos and designs and, and all that stuff. I think people put too much weight in that. And I do think that that is important, but it's not as important as most people make it out to be. Focus more on the experience and that's gonna do you a lot better in the branding. So that's what I got for you guys. Uh, just keep in mind, branding does equal reputation. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel that I have here or make sure you follow me on Instagram or TikTok at The Content Ninja. Like this video, comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.